So Truman went to the Senate, and then when he became, when he was, oh, when he was a senator, his focus was uh, graft during World War II. Basically, all the money, like billions of dollars would be appropriated for the war and given to American industries, and they would all steal them. And every senator in Washington was stealing all the war. We were fighting Hitler, and everybody in Washington was just stealing money and fleecing their fucking pockets, like openly in front of everybody. And so Truman like had this idea, let's not do that. Let's, let's try to win. Let's try to win, and let's try to get the money to the soldiers who are dying. And everyone hated him. That's why they hated him. They fucking hated him. And I even would have hated him. What's that? I would have hated him. Most everybody like, hates the stay guy. Stay out of this. Yeah, everybody hates the one guy. Yeah. Even FDR was Hello. like, do we really yeah, want a guy who's yeah, like, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. We need a leader. Steal the money. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> they they made him vice president. <laughs> Nobody liked him. They locked him out of every like they always do to the vice president. So one night he's in Sam Rayburn's office. Sam Rayburn was like the greatest speaker of the house ever. Sam Rayburn, there's the building that all the offices are in, is the Sam Rayburn building. He was like the first great speaker, one of the great yeah. speakers. So Sam Rayburn, he's in his office playing poker with Sam Rayburn. They had a poker room, like a dark, smoky, yeah. the smoky, original smoky room. And Truman is just a loser, vice president, <laughs> nobody talks to him. And he's playing poker with Sam and the other guys late into the night, having a good time. And then he gets a call, there's a call for you. And it's uh, um, Eleanor Roosevelt. She says, my husband just died. Yeah. You need to get to the White House. So out of habit, because nobody cared about him, he just went on the street alone and hailed a cab. Yeah. And there was one moment where he's in a taxi and he realizes, Jesus Christ, we're at war. And the president of the United States is in a taxi. Nobody knows where I am. And then the famous moment is that he got to the White House and Eleanor greeted him at the door and yeah. he said, Mrs. President or whatever, is is there anything I can do for you? And she says, Mr. President, is there anything I can do for you? Yeah. And everyone was like, this is going to suck. Yeah. She's like, you're the one who's in trouble. Now. Truman's going to blow. Yeah. But he was a very good fucking he was. president. He nukes Japan. Dropped the bomb. There's a... <laughs> There is a, <laughs> and don't let it, don't get it twisted. Anybody don't get it twisted. It. He, they had it coming. <laughs> All right. There's this thing in history where everyone wants to be like, I can't believe they did that. Look into no, it. No, there's bro. the account of the, um, of the announcement of the uh, Truman was on a ship when it he was on a on a big ship and he was having a big banquet. Yeah. And he got the report in his ear like George Bush. That they had yeah. just it dropped. worked, yeah. That it worked. <laughs> yeah. Nobody knew if it even worked. And he did a little ting, 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 ting. Hey, everyone. everybody! <laughs> just so you know, we dropped a bomb on the jet on Hiroshima. It's it worked, and we're starting to. And then I think Nagasaki had dropped after also. Yeah. And there, it looks like we're like gonna, a day later. And everybody, everybody applauded because there was no conflict. Yeah, because the Japanese were never going to surrender yeah and the amount of people that would have died this is what it's like when you get deep into a war how many people have died so far how many more will die if we do it this way yeah how many will die if we do it this way uh so that's what happened i don't have an opinion about it i don't i do but that's fine but here's the thing here's the thing nobody cares about dresden nobody cares about no, dresden way more people die yeah and it's also and first off kind of well not more horrifically both had like fire tornadoes Yes. That just wiped they, out. Well, they I mean, set the terrifying. atmosphere on fire. Yeah. It's the scariest thing in the world. It's awful. It sucked the oxygen out of a city and there were fire tornadoes. Yes. People were melting in the streets. Yes. Into the street. The, like the going pavement, down the drains. The pavement melted. So they'd run out of their houses and their feet would get stuck. And then they'd reach down and then just be stuck in the fucking... I mean, it's the worst thing in the world. But, but you know... <laughs> They might have had it coming, but <laughs> of course like these are a, of course these are civilians. Of there's course. a joke about uh, two agents running to each other on the street in Hollywood, and one of them was like, uh, "Hey, what have you been up to?" And he goes, oh, "I produced a special for you know whatever, just pick a you know Celine Dion or whatever." Yeah. 
He goes, how'd you like working with her? And she's like, fucking cunt, fucking worthless, <laughs> fucking spoiled brat, fucking drunk, fucking drug-addled cunt. I hope she fucking dies. And the other guy goes, you know, she's my niece. And the guy goes, let me finish. <laughs> it's an old joke. <laughs> 